Welcome back. I discovered some interesting properties of soul sand with respect to minecarts, and I'll get to that in a bit. First, let me just show you this interesting glitch that I found via the Minecraft wiki. If you're in soul sand, you can't actually walk upstairs. So I uh, I discovered this on the Minecraft wiki, and I'll come back to that later. In the meantime, let me show you what I've done with experimenting with minecarts. So the first thing we have is two minecarts on powered tracks that are sort of going up a ramp onto a block. This is a normal cloth block. This is soul sand. So when we push the button, you can see the cart goes a little bit farther on the cloth block than it does on the soul sand. This is sort of what I expect because soul sand generally slows things down. And um, okay, so then this is uh, this experiment is four carts on flat ground going onto sand, cloth, soul sand, and ice. So when I run the experiment, they all go the exact same distance. This is a little bit unexpected to me. I expect maybe it would slide on the ice and get slowed down on the soul sand, but that's not what happens. So this is this is the main experiment, though. This will reveal an interesting um, interesting use for soul sand. So first we have two powered tracks. In fact, all of these have two powered tracks to start with. This one has two powered tracks and a bunch of bunch of track just to see how far it goes. This is sort of our benchmark just flat ground. Um, the rest of them are drop-offs. This one has two powered track and then a, and then a drop-off and a bunch of track. This has the same drop-off but it starts with soul sand. Um, oops. And this has the same drop-off but the drop-off is on soul sand. Uh, this is both of them are soul sand. This is uh, a little bit different of a drop-off it's got the track up, the, the first non-powered track up before the drop-off, and uh, this is the same thing except with soul sand for the drop-off. And here's, uh, I just moved a lot of the track up onto the top row, and then soul sand. So let me run the experiment, push the button here. Okay, so now we have some results. The first track uh, without the drop-off goes the farthest. That's sort of unexpected. Um, when we have a drop off and it ends in a cloth block, those cards actually go the shortest. And if you've worked with mine cards before, you probably have seen this. The, the cart actually, when it comes to the very end of, of this block, it's not actually riding on the track anymore. It's sort of dropped onto the cloth. And that slows it down. And so it slows down a little bit before before it actually drops onto the next down next track down, so that slows it a bit, and so that's what we see here. The next two are very interesting though. This is this is how you can use soul sand, soul sand in, uh, for to make your tracks more efficient. So soul sand on the drop off actually makes the carts go almost as far as the cart without any drop off at all which is very unexpected. I would expect it to slow it down, if anything. That's not what we see. So, um, and then here we have a, a similar pair of experiments. It's, I just, you know, with the track up here. So the soul sand being here versus the normal cloth, we can see both of them go a little bit farther than their counterparts, where we didn't have the, the, that piece of track up there. So this is without the soul sand, this is with. And in fact, with soul sand, it goes almost almost exactly as far as the cart with no drop of at all. Uh, so, so with this setup, you can actually get almost 100% efficiency out of your drop off, almost no loss in speed. So I'll, I'll, I'll come back and explain that in a sec. Um, then, then this one's also sort of interesting because it means that it's not, the cart gets stuck up here, which means that there is some drag here, um, and it, it's not 100% efficient no matter where you put it. The cart has to already be going near top speed in order to get the, uh, the efficiency effect. So in order to explain this, I, I'm not sure if my explanation is correct, but we come back to the stairs. And so remember, you couldn't walk up the stairs, and if you pay careful attention, as I step onto the soul sand, you see a drop a little bit. So according to the Minecraft wiki, soul sand 
is actually a little bit shorter than, than the other blocks. It looks the same height. It looks like it's flat with the rest of the, the sand here, but it's actually 15 sixteenths as tall. And that's what causes me to drop down a little bit. And that's also why I can't walk up the stairs. You, you can only walk up half a block's height, and there's actually half a block's height plus one sixteenth of a block's height here. So, so that's why I can't walk up it. So now, we, if we apply this knowledge to the tracks, we, we sort of see why this might happen. So when the cart's coming along and it reaches the end of the track, which is just before the end of the block, it starts to fall a little bit because the track is a little bit taller, it you know, has some height to it. I don't know whether it's one eighth or, or what, but... So the, the cart starts to fall, but on the, on the cloth track, it, since, the cloth, since the cloth is a little bit taller than the soul sand, it actually hits the cloth first before, before it drops off, and it has a lot more time in which it's, uh, during which it's contacting the cloth, whereas with the soul sand, since it's, since it's got more room to drop, um, it, it just has less time that it's contacting the soul sand. So that's the best explanation I have for it. I don't have any clue why the soul, the soul sand here seems to drag the cart, but, but not this soul sand. That I would expect that either it would slow it down or it wouldn't, and the height shouldn't make much of a difference. But anyway, so the, the important thing though is, is, is that you can use this trick to increase the efficiency of your minecart jumps, which is actually probably quite a useful thing. So, hope this has been useful to you. Um, thanks for watching.